Hey guys, so I'm just starting off with my damp hair and as you can see it gets kind of frizzy and wavy and huge when I let it air dry. So we're going to go ahead and take um, just whatever brush you use and I'm going to go ahead and brush out my hair just to get all the knots out, the leftover teasing, all that fun stuff. Okay, so now that we brushed everything out, all the tangles and everything, so we're going to go ahead and blow dry it. Okay, so as you can see, I just uh, finished drying my hair, and it's a little bit on the frizzy, poofy side, so now is the time where we're going to straighten everything out and make it nice and smooth and shiny. So what I do is just do three sections. So I'm just going to start off with the bottom section, kind of make a half up, half down section. And I just take one of these big clips and just clip the top of my hair. So we're going to work with this bottom section first. And I'm just going to use my basic Chi straightener. And we're going to go ahead and start smoothing out our hair. So I just take sections about this big, maybe an inch, an inch and a half wide. And just start at the base, or the base of our root, and then as I get to the ends, I turn my curling, or my straightening iron in a little bit so the ends start to flip inwards towards my face. And I just like to do this all the way around. And you'll probably see a little bit better when I do the shorter layers, because it's not fitting in my camera. But, as you can kind of see, the ends are starting to turn in. So, I like to do stuff to the ends of my hair, either flip them out or flip them in, because I feel like the ends will look a little bit healthier, because they're a little bit smoother, instead of me just doing my ends completely straight, because later on in the day they tend to flip out or get frizzy a little bit. So, my trick to make my ends look nice and smooth is either curl them in or flip them out. So I'm going to go ahead and do this for the bottom section and then I'll show you the next step. Okay, so I finished the bottom section, now I'm going to take the middle section. So I'm going to pin up this top section right here, get it out of my face and in a little clip. So it's out of the way, so we'll have this little thing up here. So now we're going to do the middle section, and now you'll be able to see a little bit better how I flip my ends in. So again, we're going to start in the front, take our straightener, and start to curl the ends in. Bring them in towards your face. And as you could see, they curl in. And then we're going to do that all the way around again. And I kind of like to pull across um, my face so and then curl it in so they just lay nicely so just kind of bring it forward towards your face and then they'll lay nicely and kind of frame your face a little bit Okay, I'm going to finish this section. I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so now we're going to do the last section. So go ahead and just bring that down. Now I'm just going to take my teasing brush and then the rat tail end and go ahead and part your hair how you would normally part it. I'm just going to do kind of a messy zigzag part. Yes, I'm still one of the few people who do a zigzag part. Okay, so again, we're going to smooth everything out and bring it in 
to frame the face. Just like that. I don't really have any bangs except for these things, so you can either style your bangs last or just this part, I guess. If you don't have bangs you can, and you have layers, you could just flip them in like I do. Okay, I'm going to finish the back and then I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so once you're done straightening everything, if you don't want to tease your hair, you could just leave it like this and it's nice and smooth. And your, oops, no bueno. And then you can see your layers start to flip in and really show off the different layers and sections in your hair. So that's what it should look like. But of course, you guys know me, I love teasing my hair. So I'm gonna get my brush and my hairspray and start teasing and I'll show you guys how to do it. Okay, so you guys just saw my teasing process and um, I just smoothed it out just a little bit more and make sure it's just nice and smooth. Just make sure everything's in place. Okay, so now what I do is I just take my Big Sexy Hairspray and I kind of spray my bangs and then kind of push them back a little bit. Then I do the same for the other side, just spray my bang area. And just kind of make them flip back a little bit, just so they're out of my face. And as you can see, the layers are still nice and flipped in. And then, just to finish everything off, I take um, my Kenra finishing spray, it's the medium hold, and I'll just go over everything. Just to make sure everything's in place. And that is it. So this is how I get my straight hair that still has a little bit of body and bounce to it, but it still stays like nice and shiny. And that is it. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. This is another um, hair routine that I do once in a while. I'm kind of liking the straight hair. I haven't had any time lately to do my hair curly, so this is kind of easy and it's a lot quicker than doing the other flipped out or curly hair. So that is it. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you learned a few new tricks. And if you have any questions, ask me below. And... There you go. Happy holidays, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.